initially I knew that I wanted to go back to grad school so I started researching and I ended up choosing the K-State program just for a variety of reasons. One, it was online which made it very flexible for me to still have a full-time career but it also provided the opportunity to come on campus and network and engage with my peers and with the faculty here as well and also just wanted to stick with a university that had a strong reputation and especially had deep roots in agriculture. Thanks, uh, Representative Cox, for joining me for Meet the Lawmaker. You represent California's 21st District. Um, for those of us who don't know, can you tell me just exactly where your district's at in California? Sure. It is the heart of California's Central Valley, stretching from Fresno to the north down to Bakersfield in the south. It's uh, probably 170 miles from tip to tip. And, and I can tell you, if you've ever seen the movie McFarland, USA, that is the heart of the district. And tell me what types of agriculture are in the district? Uh, just such a wide range. We've got uh, uh, nuts. Every raisin in America is produced in my district. And so we've got uh, livestock, dairy, uh, cotton. I think we're one of the top cotton districts in America. You're talking all kinds of leafy greens, row crops, uh, you name it, is produced in the 21st Congressional District. We're actually the top agricultural producing district in California which is the top ag producing state. Now tell me just a little bit about yourself. You're a chemical engineer and uh, but tell me why you wanted to come to Congress. Well I, I can tell you is that uh, I'm a registered chemical engineer and that's a lot of uh, process and, and uh, you know type of process type systems but also I've got a background in heavy construction but in addition to that what I've been doing over the last you know, 10, 15 years, there's a lot of community development. I've been using that engineering background along with a business background to build things and help finance things like community health clinics, job training facilities. We did a wonderful educational facility called the Farm of the Future to, you know, to instill skills in the ag industry for our young men and women uh, there in the Central Valley. And as far as policy initiatives go, are there specific ones you have for agriculture? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the critical one for uh, for our ranches and for our farms and really for our communities is water, right? And ensuring that we have a reliable water supply, we can get water out to where it's needed to be able to uh, you know, support our industry and especially the ag industry, but more importantly, our communities as well. Now, you are new here to Congress. So tell me about some of the committees that you're on. Well, the, the committees that I wanted to be on and, you know, and I vied and I elbowed my way on was, was ag and certainly the subcommittees I'm on at AG were the specific committees that I could have a hand making a difference for the, you know, for our industry and our people in, in the Central Valley, and also natural resources where I could work on the water issues. Now you um, grew up a uh, son of immigrants here in the U.S. Um, tell me how that's kind of shaped who you are today. Well, you know, it's classic immigrant story. Uh, you know, my dad came from China, my mom from the Philippines. They met at Montana State University, uh, had three boys in California. But like many immigrants, you, know, you stick to the, you, you, you keep your nose to the grindstone and you work hard and you take advantages of uh, the opportunities that America avails to all of us here, uh, public schools and universities. And really where opportunities presented myself, I've been able to take advantage of them to uh, and not only further my career, but really it became apparent that I could help others with some of the experiences I've had. Is there anything particular uh, besides water or just an initial goal you hope to accomplish here? Well certainly we want to work on immigration. Immigration touches everybody uh, certainly throughout my district. Fran you have friends or family members or neighbors or co-workers or you know kids that uh, you go to school with uh, who are touched in one way by immigration. That's an issue that we need to solve right now. Uh, and then, you know, certainly we want to continue to promote our ag industry. Uh, and, you know, not only just, you know, growing things out of the ground, but adding value along the way. Because certainly in California, we produce the top agricultural product products in the world. And you, uh, you're also, uh, you own a nut processing uh, business. Can you kind of tell me about that? Yeah, uh, a number of years ago, you know, I've got this uh, experience in developing businesses and helping people develop businesses. And a couple of friends of mine came and they had this idea to uh, start blanching almonds, which is, you know, taking the brown skin off the nut. And that blanched almond forms the basis to, for two products you probably know, uh, almond milk and almond butter. All right. And so uh, that's become a very successful business. 
And you know, through that business, uh, we launched another business, which was organic steam pasteurization of nuts as well. And so instead of chemical fumigation, now you can organically steam pasteurize a, a load of nuts in a fraction of the time that uh, other processes take. Okay, so we've talked about some of the serious issues. Uh, what uh, do you like to specifically do in your fair time when you're not in Congress? You know, is I've, I've got four kids and, uh, and my wife, and it's so great to hang out with family, doing uh, the things that they like to do uh, outside, uh, you know, hiking or, or just getting together with uh, friends and family. And, you know, certainly there's so many uh, nice things to do in the Central Valley. We've got the Sierras to one side, the Ocean to the other, and uh, there, there's plenty of opportunities to, to bide your time. Congressman, thanks for your time today. Thanks so much. Thanks for, thanks for coming by.